Now well, we're sitting here having dinner, and uh, I looked up on this ridge up there, and you can see one little point standing out up there. I think it's Bigfoot. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Oh. Let's make some calls and see if we can call him down here, offer him some chicken. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't live in something this small. No, no, no. This tent is made for one person, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Ooh, the next morning, and boy did we freeze our butts off. I swear it got down into the 30s last night. Woke up today, and it's a real foggy morning. Basically, was up off and on all night long, fighting to survive and stay warm. Just got woke up by these guys down here loading a boat in the water. Looks like they're gonna go moose or caribou hunting. It keeps getting the boat stuck because the river's so shallow. But look how foggy this is. It's like some kind of crazy. I expect to see a T-Rex come running through here. Okay, so I knew it got cold last night. Look at the frost on my saddlebags and the ice on my seat. Look at that. That's ice. Yeah, it must have got down below. You're right. These things just about walked right up on us. Look, they're just walking down the river trying to get around us. Is yeah, it's moose season. Well, I'm glad they didn't come through last night while we were sleeping in the tent. They might not have saw, saw us. I was curious where they were going. Look at him fighting through that current. I mean, he, look, he's got white water going up around his legs. Look at that. That's cool.
second one's up out of the water. Shake it off. All right, thanks for going around, guys. I appreciate it. We're just looking at these mountains. Check out these mountains. That one there looks like it's a pyramid. And then there's another one behind it. Kind of crazy. Getting ready to have breakfast, having some scrambled eggs and, and ham. And uh, we've been, we went ahead and took down camp. Tell you, that was a bad night's sleep. We should have worked on getting that a lot more level and smooth. But oh well, it got down to freezing last night, so the rocks weren't our only worry. But so anyways, we're running the sluice box a little bit today before we take off. Look at the trees across there. You can see falls coming, look at the yellow. And we're gonna prospect around here for a little bit and then get ready to head back to Fairbanks this afternoon. Well, I've pretty much been using the bike for for everything, hanging clothes on it, storing stuff, shade. Now, when you go camping in Alaska, you'll see these birds. They're called, we call them gray jays, or camp robbers. Because they're so used to people that they'll just fly right on in, and I put a Pop-Tart out there for them. Make their day. They can't carry them. Exciting stuff. Helicopters going over. Out in the middle of freaking nowhere. Well, Mr. Helicopter's coming back. There he is. He was buzzing the, uh, the ridges and stuff. It's probably tourists taking a helicopter ride. And they're filming me while I'm looking up and filming them. I bet you that's what's going on. Still working the sluice box. Uh, like a dummy, I forgot my gold pans, my classifier, and my very small shovel. So I'm using my leshy and uh, a big spoon that I have to take already classified material and put into the sluice box. So. I might end up having to take this home and uh, pan it down because I don't have a way to do it. So, but anyways, we're running material through it and just having a blast out here north of the Arctic Circle in Alaska.